Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon. Um, it's nice to talk to you again. Today, we're talking about insects again, and this story today is called The Grouchy Ladybug. The Grouchy Ladybug, and it's by Eric Carl. And just as a little reminder, here's a poem that talks about different kinds of bugs. When it comes to bugs, I like crawlers, I like creepers, hoppers, jumpers, flyers, leapers, walkers, stalkers, chirpers, peepers. I wonder why my mother thinks that finders can't be keepers. And so today's special insect or bug is the grouchy ladybug. Have you ever been grouchy where you get up and everything seems to rub you the wrong way. You just aren't real happy. Well, that's what the story is with this poor grouchy ladybug. Let's see if maybe she turns into a happy ladybug. And a little background on ladybugs. They are also considered a beneficial or a good bug. You want them in your garden because their favorite thing to eat is a little bug called an aphid. And aphids are very bad to plants. They, there's, they come and there's lots of them and they eat the leaves off the plants and then the plant dies. So it's very important to have ladybugs around. They'll get rid of those nasty old aphids. And so this story goes through the different times of the day. So we're going to start out very early in the morning at six o'clock. Oh, I think I might have missed an introduction page. Hold on. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. Good morning, said a friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other ladybug straight in the eye and the grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, Scrouch, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. And it puffed itself up and it flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. So here's six o'clock. At seven o'clock, it saw a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you! said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, 
pen flew off. So it's nine o'clock. It's ten o'clock. At ten o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 12 o'clock, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Here's its lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating on its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. I don't know. Here's a little tiny ladybug, and here's this great big gorilla. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew away. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answers. So it flew off. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At quarter of six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you want to fight? So here's the grouchy ladybug, and here's the whale's tail. And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. And at six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and 
hungry ladybug. You're welcome. And soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, said both of the ladybugs. And they went to sleep. And the fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. So, you can change from being grouchy to friendly. And always remember to use your pleases and thank yous and your welcome.